Good day grade 11s, welcome to this next lesson in finance, growth and decay. In this lesson we're going to learn about the difference between nominal and effective rates and how to convert between the two. But what are they? The nominal rate is the rate quoted by the bank, whereas your effective rate is the actual rate you get if you work it out over a period of one year and it's compounded annually. So let's look at an example, but before we do that, there is an important thing that you need to know, and that is the formula. Now, grade 11s, this one you have to have to learn. It is not on your formula sheets. So you have to learn that 1 plus I effective is equal to 1 plus I nominal all to the power of n. You have to learn this, it's not on your formula sheets and you will be asked questions like this. So please make sure you know how to get it. So let's have a look at the example now. It says 7,000 Rand is deposited into an account for one year at an interest rate of 14.5% compounded quarterly. What is the effective interest rate? So we know that this is 14.5% compounded quarterly. So therefore, they're telling us we know that 1 plus i effective is equal to 1 plus i nominal to the power of n. They want the i effective. They've given us the nominal. The nominal, nominal is another word for naming. So they've given us, they've told us what the interest rate is. Now the interest rate, the nominal interest rate is 0 0.145. It's divided by 4 because it's compounded quarterly. Compounded quarterly. The N would be for one year, but because it is paid four times what's quarterly, it's four times for that one year. So if we do this question, we have one plus I effective is equal to one plus 0 0.145 all over four to the power of four. Therefore, I effective is equal to 1 plus 0 0.145 over 4 to the power of 4 minus 1. So now we get out our calculator and we clear it so we can see what we're doing and we go 0 0.145 divided by 4 equals add my 1 equals all of that to the power of 4 and now I subtract 1 and I get 0 0.153. So therefore, this becomes I effective is 0 0.153. Therefore, the effective interest rate, the effective interest rate is 15.3% per annum compounded annually. Okay, so now it's very easy to see how much money you'd have out at the end of the year. Let's look at another example. It says, find the nominal interest rate per annum compounded semi-annually that is equal to the effective interest rate of 8.5% per annum. So the effective interest rate is obviously going to be 8.5 divided by 100, which is 0 0.085. The number of times is twice a year for semi-annually. And our equation is 1 plus i effective is equal to 1 plus i nominal over n. And this time we want this guy here. So let's fill in our numbers. We've got 1 plus 0 0.085 equals bracket 1 plus, and now I want you to remember this because this is important. Remember that your nominal interest rate is compounded semi-annually. Semi so your actual interest rate is going to be I nominal divided by 2. Remember that? If we were doing the effective interest rate on the nominal, we would have usually divided by 2. All to the power in this case of 2. Therefore, we've got 1.085 is equal to 1 plus i nominal over 2 and we're going to square root both sides so then we'll get rid of that 2 by square rooting it so now we've got that is equal to that now we want to do just your i nominal 
over 2 alone. So therefore we're going to say it's the square root of 1.085 minus 1 is equal to i nominal over 2. So then what do we have to do? We have to multiply everything by 2 to get to the answer. So therefore we've got 2 times the square root of 1.085 minus 2 equals i nominal. Okay, so let's now work out what that is using our calculator. So we go shift to square root of 1.085 5 equals times 2 minus 2 oopsie, let's just delete that, 2 and it becomes 0 0.083 so I nominal is equal to 0 0.083 therefore the nominal interest rate the nominal interest rate equals 8.3 percent per annum compounded semi annually. Right, grade 11s, that's how you convert compound, I mean nominal interest rates to effective interest rates and vice versa. Please go practice, make sure you've learned this formula, please, you need to know it, and then go do the questions at the end of the section. Have a lovely day.